hello everyone it's still your girl jenny so in this video i'll be telling you a true life story what happened to me two weeks ago so on the 7th of december i was coming back from work i closed at three o'clock so that day i was supposed to collect something from my friend on the road and then i collected it around 2 45 so i was going home and i entered kekena pep because i didn't have fuel in my car that day so i decided to use kekena pep from my house to from the my house to the hospital and from the hospital to my house so in the so what happened was that i was coming back home and i, I bought that this cake and the distance from the my working place to my house is just like five ten minutes so when i entered the cake and pep it was the driver and one other person that was in the cake and pep so along the road or along the way, we picked one other man, an elderly one. So the other guy that was seated, that was there inside the keke before the other one entered, asked him, do I know Soso -so Hospital? I couldn't even remember the hospital. As soon as I said no, that was when everything happened. I did not understand what was happening again. Then he now told me to ask the next person. I don't understand. I just asked the person. So I asked the person beside me, please, do you know Soso? -so? This guy is looking for Soso, -so -so, please. That is in, in one location, said Zarmaganda. So, well, now we're going on. You know, they now asked me which church do I attend. I said, all churches are one. So, there's no particular church. So, I didn't really respond to that question. Then he said, okay. Then we were going on the road. Then the Kekena Pep stopped. And then one of them came out. So that's the guy that was there. He, he came out and peed. When he peed, he now continued the journey. Then when we got to close to where I was going to, that's around Refill Medical. If you know just well, you know Refill Medical. So that's where everything happened. He now started telling me things about my mother being ill. And actually my mother was ill. So that was what got me. Then I started feeling somehow. I don't even know. My heart was beating fast very fast they started saying things about my family that were some of them were true or some of them were delete. i don't just understand what happened and then he now told me that i should go out and count seven poles oh uh, he would tell me who and who is responsible for my mother's illness so the first guy the, that's the the old, elderly guy or is it the elderly guy that entered the, the kekena pep went first went then he came back and then he told him so 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 i didn't even know they were together so obviously they were together so it was like a plan so that i would believe them so he dropped all his belongings with me i was like why would this guy give me all his things i didn't know it was a plan so when he went and counted his own poles and came back the guy told him things he said yes this is it this is it this is this so they would Tell you things about your family it just is just the grace of god that will help you so that you will not fall into that situation it was terrible so when i was going to go and count the the poles told me to count seven poles i went with my phones and when i came back they were like why would i go with my phone i have to keep everything for the thing to work they even told me that i should spit on my hand three times I'll see it in the back of my hand. Like, so many crazy things. So, all I'm just trying to say is that you should be careful out there. There are lots of evil people in this world. So, we should try as much as possible to avoid going out through public means or public transport if we can. I just tried it and see what happened. They took my phone, my new phone that I did not even use up to two months. Up to one month, I did not even use it. It was stolen in my iPhone 13 Pro. And my Android phone was stolen. So, guys, you would not be seeing me too much online because um, I'm not using any mobile phone right now. But uh, this one that I'm using to make a video is someone's own. So, I hope you guys have learned from my story. The funny thing is that most people have gone through such things. They've been robbed this way, but they never speak out. If I had known, that it has happened to someone or someone has told me the same story or similar story because i heard that they always use the same storyline i would have been careful 
So if it has happened to you, it happened to my sister-in-law. It was when it happened to me, she now told me. So if it has happened to you, try and share and spread the news to others so that others will be careful, so that they'll also not fall into the same scam. So I think that would have helped me. And may God save us out there from evil people. Just don't be too carried away with religion that you will believe somebody to the extent of giving them your things. Because when it happened, I turned, before I realized, I could not shout, I could not say anything. I went to the police station, like crazy things. It was really painful. I could not sleep throughout the night thinking about my phone. You know, when you've taken your phone to be like your baby and then you don't find, you don't have it again. It's very painful. So I hope you guys would learn from my story. Thank you very much. And I hope to see you guys soon.